Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday Thursday, bargain beer review time once again. Before we get cracking on the beers, you know, we'd like to ponder a little couple of things to, for you to uh, think about. Is it really possible to turn wine into water? And if procrastinators had a club, would they ever get round to having a meeting? Anyway, up today from Moreland, which is of course under the Green King banner, it's their Old Golden Hen, that funnily enough is a golden ale. This tips the scales at 4.1% ABV. Cost me one pounds and twenty-five English pence from supermarket Tesco. That's the cap. Quite nice artwork. All very much of a similar in this particular range, as it were, from uh, Moreland. Right, let's get it popped and poured and see what she is like. Nice here's a little bit of can of smoke. Now this cost one pound and twenty-five, as I mentioned, which is the threshold to become a bargain beer on my show. You've got to cost one pound and twenty-five English pence or less for a 500ml bottle. You can be a bigger bottle, you can be a smaller bottle, but pro rata ratioed, it's got to be the equivalent of £1.25 for 500ml. Right, that pours a nice, it's almost sort of like a, it's like a, well, it, it's, it's like a darkish amber, but more like a dark honey colour. Nice one and, uh, probably one and three quarter fingers head. Nice carbonation helped by the nucleated glass. Um, yeah, let's go in for a sniff and see what we got. Mmm, bit zesty, maybe a bit of, not like sats, maybe satsuma-ish, orange-ish, bit of lemon in there as well, maybe a little bit of blackcurrant, and then topped off with a bit of toffee and caramel. Lo love the colour, let's go in for a taste, see what she's like, oh, that's hardly advertising. Cheers everyone, very good health. It's a good citrus hit off that. Toffee, caramel. It sounds daft, but it tastes like what it smells like. Now, quite nice bittering on there. Um, reading the back of the bottle, actually, before I had it, this has got the fabulous Galaxy Hop in it. That's very, very popular in pale ales, um, but always quite hard to get hold of in your home brew shops or online. Um, seems to be snapped up as soon as it sort of hits a shelf. So it's got galaxy in it but not you know half a ton in there. Um, I believe it's also from the bittering it's going to be like I see it's fuggles in there and something else as well. I'm almost getting like on like some stouts that you brew get that nice sort of smooth bit of finish and it's very much like that on that. Now, when I brew my stouts on my home brew side of things, I tend to use Willamette. And I'm wondering if that's got a little bit of Willamette in there. I'm probably wrong, I usually am, as you know. Um, but that is very, very smooth. Very tasty. The weather is just turning here in the UK as well at time of filming, so ideal for this type of weather. Clean, fresh, crisp, thirst quenching. You know, and goes down very, very easy and very sessional as well at 4.1%. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah, certainly would. Um, Thirsty Thursday score out of 10 for me. Ooh, I am going to give that a very, very solid 7.5 out of 10. That's the bottle, that's the artwork. If you see one, pick one up, give it a go. Thanks for watching everyone, see you again real soon right here, YouTube and also Twitter now as well for another episode of Thursday Thursday. Thanks for watching everyone, be seeing you.